Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, it is part three of the 2000 subscriber giveaway build. This truck we're building a giveaway to one of you lucky subscribers. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that'll guarantee you to get in when I do the video for letting you guys know what to do and what the rules are. Um, I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and check this video out and see what we got. Well, here's where we're at, guys. You, this is pretty much what you've seen last time. Uh, only thing difference is I've gone ahead and put uh, 12 millimeter wheel extenders on these because I was rubbing a little bit on the portals. So I wanted to just extend it out a little bit. Other than that, that's about all we did. Uh, the rear's got the same thing, half inch. We ended up getting our drive shafts installed and in place. Haha, <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that. I'm stoked about that. Let's go ahead and get the lid off. Let me show you guys some of the electronics we got installed into this truck. Now you guys see a battery sitting right here. You know we're gonna test something. We have ourselves a Hobby Wing 1060 ESC, and that was donated from Lee's RC. Appreciate it, Lee. Thank you so much, man. That was awesome of you. I'm going ahead and running a TQ Traxxas controller. That was actually donated with the uh, G Made chassis, so I wanted to go ahead and use, just like I stated to everybody, I'm going to use everything that was donated. Got all the wires nice and cleaned up, as you guys see. Not a big old pile of glob of wires everywhere. Motor leads run up underneath the battery. Had to extend that a little bit. Into the RC four-wheel drive, 35-turn motor. Now, we need one more donation, guys. And I hope somebody out there would be love would love to donate this. I need a Gen 7 transmission with the motor plate and spur gear preferably. This thing's got a bent shaft here off of here and the motor plate is actually bent pretty bad. So uh, there's a link in the description on Amazon for one of those transmissions and I think it only runs uh, $23 for the complete with a spur gear. Uh, the link's gonna be in the description and my email address is going to be in the description. So if you guys want to send me an email, uh, I'll be glad to send you my mailing address. So you guys can just drop ship it right from Amazon to me. And it saves you guys some shipping as well. Well, let's go ahead and throw some power into this truck. I want to, I want to check this servo out and see if it actually works. So give me a second. I'll be right back with you guys. Sorry, I kind of had to do that. It's a little hard to plug a battery in one-handed while I'm holding you guys. All right, let's kick the controller power on. Now, I put the on-off switch right in this hole right here for the ESC. Makes it simple. We got power. We got steering. Nice. Dude, I am stoked. So far, so good, guys. This thing's awesome. Next step is go ahead and get this thing, uh, transmission and everything mounted in here. Once we get it, I have a body coming for it, guys. Uh, I gotta remove these. These are gonna go to the guy who's doing the body. These... Uh, beadlock rings are going to be color matched to the body. So this thing's going to be sweet. Man, what do you guys think of the build so far? I want to thank Lee's RC for that awesome ESC. Definitely a good beginner's. It doesn't have a whole lot of programming to it, but definitely a work for the average person to get get started with i mean they can always upgrade it if they wish to uh the body's gonna be awesome 
I know a lot about it. It's been collaborated through me. I'm not gonna give no secrets away to what it's gonna look like yet. But the only secret I will give you, it is still a square body Chevy truck. So I figured a lot of people like the square body, so I wanted to give a touch of class to this truck for the next, the next owner of this truck. Man, I appreciate everything everyone here on YouTube's done for me. It's been an awesome experience so far, and I hope I can still continue with that experience. So until next time, everybody, we're going to catch you on the next episode. Have a good one.